Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Going to check these this kit. So these two kits are the same kit. I recently got well, I recently got them both. My friend George sent me this as a gift. This is a 19. The end is missing off the box, so the top comes off easy. But it is a thought it had a year on it somewhere. I think it's 1987. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's right there. So 1987 copyright date of the Fujimi Countach 5000 Quattro Valve, I think that's how it's uh, pronounced. And then just recently, um, within the last couple weeks, I got this one from my friend Tony Lancer. I bought this from him, and these are the same kits as far as I know. Um, this is, if, if you'll notice the box art, it's the same other than it's like a close-up shot and so it's the same kit so I won't be opening the new one but this one is already opened so I want to open it up and what a cool looking car guys remember back in the 80s remember the Countach and this is the super duper high performance one um, that was the epitome in my opinion of supercar when it came out Although they say, um, I was watching Jay Leno's Garage, and he said that the thing is, is not aerodynamic at all. And I don't know how that could be. But anyway, let's open it up and check the parts. I'm going to build this kit. I'd been wanting one because of the fact that it had so much detail with the opening doors and hood and engine and everything else in it. So first off is the Crazy Bull, the Lamborghini um it's 124th scale and it's in all different languages but it's a very detailed model kit very 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 detailed model kit um and this would be one that i do not start and finish in a video or even two this would be one that would take months because I'd really want to take my time with it. So right off the bat, I'm noticing something. So with my testers Fujimi 911 Turbo, it had something that's similar here. Here is a, in the clear parts, see this round or this oval, this shape and these things here and these things here or these things. This is an engine stand. So if you were interested in building in just the engine, because of it's highly detailed, just like the Porsche kit was, you could build this engine and have it displayed on an engine stand. So that's really cool. Although you wouldn't have it in your car. Here are the um, okay. So like, see that tag right here? This is for your engine stand. It gives you all the. Uh, I think it's for the stand or something. It gives you all the dimensions for the car. Pretty cool. Um, these decals show some age, although they are completely sealed up. Um, they do show some age. I had problems with my, I see some yellowing. And I know a lot of you guys know how to deal with that. I'm not proficient with that yet. So maybe when I begin, when I begin, begin to build this kit, some of you guys maybe can... Uh, we can be in contact with each other and you can help me with the uh, the way to preserve these um, but it's got some cool details on the the decals here um, printed in Japan 1987 Fujimi so that's your clear parts I mean your 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 window glasses and all that are in here too I, I you know I'm not very good at these box openings but the the windows the windows are, like didn't roll down in these cars I don't know how that worked I think they had like half of a window that would let down like right here i think maybe the bottom section would let down i don't know I'm not sure at all about that i know the the old vipers that the first gen vipers they didn't even have they had like plastic side windows or something so let me let me look through these parts if i see anything interesting we can open it up and check it out so here are your your uh folding doors or your uh forward opening doors with the hinges attached so this is the inner workings of the door and then here are the skins for the door right there so this is going to be a really cool kit and i bet they fit right 
I bet there's some I bet they they fit really well here is the hood I believe that's the rear the engine deck lid I believe let's see on the instructions I think that's the I call it a deck lid I mean that's always called that on the uh, on a Volkswagen a deck lid but maybe it's not trying to identify that one part no it's maybe the front hood I don't know what it is maybe not anyway here are some parts some side scoops some more door uh, hinges and parts for the door for the hinges themselves here's the, the uh, chassis with two different um, front or uh, front spindles upper upper and oh here let's get this out here hard enough to see it with my camera much less so the chassis here the tub the interior tub and then some spindles one on each side so we've got front and front and left spindles this looks like a hinge probably for the engine compartment and some other parts that I ain't got it include and there's the rear spindles or the rear, yeah, I think they'll be called spindles. These are stapled, so you can just pop them right open. Fender flares. I think this is it. This car. I don't know if what makes it a five thousand was these huge tires and uh, these extended fenders. I don't know if the, all the Countach's had those or not, but here are those fender flares the awesome rear spoiler and this part that's about to come off part number one I'm not sure what that is but there you go and this looks like the okay so this portion here is this on the car the very front down there that's what that is it's got some uh, grills and places for lights so that's what that is Cool. Let's look at the body. And yes, how do you like this one's not smushed? Perfect condition. Got these big pieces of sprue here as a brace um, to keep this cool looking body intact. So 1987 she is. And uh, they did a fine job making this. Very, very fine job I'm looking for sand places I'd have to sand like parting lines and things like that I can't wait to build this how many of you guys do you like exotics I mean I'm the kind of guy who I'll build anything as a matter of fact last night on our patreon live stream if perhaps I get this video tonight probably not probably whenever it was Saturday night, I think the 13th, Saturday the 13th, we had a live stream for the Patreon members and we were talking and George, who I got this kit from, was on there and I asked, I was asking the guys, I was like, what is your forte? What's your favorite type of model kits? And George said, he doesn't really have one. It's pretty much just anything. And that's kind of how I am. I'll go from uh, building a, a stock, 37 Ford pickup like is next door to me over here to an exotic uh, Porsche 911 to a, a Pro Street um, I don't really do semi trucks because of the space. I don't really have the space to to, to display them um, But I like anything that catches my attention and a lot of times it's odd and peculiar things and th let me tell you guys this if there's a near perfect molded body this is it I'm not seeing anything the only the only parting lines that I even see and you can't even really see them are right here shoot they don't even show up on the camera you could hit that with sandpaper done that body is nearly perfect awesome can't wait to get on that and here are the little parts now these are sealed up. So here are some small, looks like uh, some interior. 
Make sure there's nothing in that bag. Here's our steering column. Right here. No camera. Right here. There you go. There's the dashboard. The top of the dashboard here. Um, some itty bitty little... Dang, that's seat belts. Check that out. That's seat belts. That's, um, I wonder if it gives you actual ribbon. So here it looks like some seat belt. Um, that's the actual latch, looks like. Yeah, yeah, look at here. Here's some, uh, here's, gosh, this has actually got the, uh, the latches. Check that out. Wow. Okay. I'm intimidated already. Okay, here's your inner door panels. Some engine parts. Oh man, look at that. So this thing was it fuel injected or carbureted? It's got six something. I know it's a 12 cylinder. So possibly two cylinders are fed off of each one of those either injectors or maybe they're throttle body injectors. I don't know. Maybe there are carburetors. Here are, is the front or the rear of the V12 engine. Um, here is a set of the headers. Um, two sections of headers because it is a 12 cylinder so you got three and three and three and three so there's your headers this portion here looks like the possibly the, the top of the engine i'm not a hundred percent sure yet but it looks long enough and some ducting there and um here are some five lug where the uh tires will go on and what's cool about these fujimi kits is you have the lug bolts you actually have or the lug nuts that go through and they the rims you know you actually the tire actually goes on to the to the lug nuts and you glue it on obviously or you could have a nice display with one of the tires off showing the disc brakes and stuff which would be really cool maybe maybe i could do something like that yeah matthew you can do it encourage yourself i just i get i get excited i'm like i want to do my best on a kit like this better than a, a better job than I've done on anything else. That's always my goal is to do a better job than the last one. Here is some of the the engine. I don't know. That's got like oh sorry. So this is like the transmission, but it's also got almost oh is this thing all wheel drive? Is that what it is? Quattro. Oh, this means it's all wheel drive, I bet. Possibly. Maybe not. I don't know. But this looks like, so you have your transmission here. But you don't have with the transmission, maybe not. I don't know. Because with the transmission, you don't feed out of the uh, end like you do a conventional transmission. This is as a transaxle. So maybe it's not all-wheel drive. Maybe it's just two-wheel drive. And the way the engine sits in there, that is for the, I don't know. Maybe the transmission goes to the front and here yeah i bet that's what it is i bet that, that is i guarantee you so this is probably pointing toward the front of the car here's the engine that sits in this place and then there's your rear drive dang i got excited thinking it was all-wheel drive i don't know if they made a countach that was all-wheel drive i know they did a diablo your alternators or it looks like an alternator the uh, valve cover with lamborghini on it dang that would be hard to detail paint holy moly it's like maybe the oil pan or something i can't tell belts i uh, bet that's the oil pan right there um distributor that you would never in a million years be able to actually wire because those things are so darn little i don't know how you'd pull that off i wouldn't i wouldn't wire it that's how i would pull it off probably um it's like the top engine cover. Some other parts that I ain't got a clue. Another part of the engine you can tell. A, uh, a a radiator of some sort. Cooler. And some other little suspension parts and all. Guys, these are the smallest little parts. Look at this. Like a little wrench or something. Dang. You sure you want to build this? All right more radiators or more coolers right here right no no camera right here yeah there you go some more coolers four more got some axles got some horns 
There's some horns right there. Old Dixie horns. Uh, brake calipers and rotors. Suspension parts. Um, spare tire, or at least spare tire cover, possibly. Pirelli Centurio or something. And then a rinky dink looking spare tire. <laughs> That's funny. You'd think it would have something besides an old steel wheel. Come on, guys. It's a, it's a Lamborghini. I almost said Ferrari. There's your mirrors and a meat cleaver. Oh, that's not a meat cleaver. That's a brake handle. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. There's like a thousand parts to this thing. 1987. How old was I? 19? I was 11 years old in 1987. So I was 11 years old when they built this model kit. Here is some structural parts. I don't even know what's up or down. I almost turned it over to say like that's the top, but I ain't got a clue. This probably is a structure that's around the engine or something, I guess, maybe. Two of them. Uh, looks like some instrument cluster thingies and some, some uh, A-arms, firewall. Um, oh, two steering wheels. See, I don't know what the difference is, but two different steering wheels. I probably used the one on the left. It just looks more like a Lamborghini steering wheel. Uh, maybe oil tanks. It's like oil tanks, maybe a dry sump system, but it was. And then two very uncomfortable Lamborghini seats. Along with the cylinder or the sides of the block and cylinder heads for the engine. Nice. And got a little chrome tree here. I won't open that up. What the heck are those things? Probably something with the headlights that goes in the headlights. Just a few pieces of chrome. Another thing, one other thing. If you get burnt out on doing bare metal foil, cause a lot of your older American cars are loaded with chrome, grab yourself an exotic. They don't have much chrome at all. There's no bare metal foil you'd have to do at all on this car. So if you want to take a break, a breather from bare metal foil, it's a, it's if you if you want to do that, grab yourself a a exotic kit. You know, check out the box art first. It may be something. I might be totally wrong on that, but. And here are the pre-mounted tires and wheels. And a couple of pieces of metal rod, which I don't have a clue what those are for, and a screw or two probably. I see, oh no, four screws. Okay, so the tires actually screw on. All right, gotcha. Oh, cool. So you can actually take the tires off, maybe out there roar, 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 take the tires off have it up on a jack stand but the tires still actually ha would need to be taken off of the rims which is no problem and, and done a little a little bit of scuffing because there's a little bit of you can see it there a little bit of flash in between the and the tires and they are two different widths um this is a front this is a rear so you can't tell much about that but anyway and then inside the box there it is. There is the. Let's zoom around here for a second. So there's the 911 Turbo 1985. That's the testers kit that I just built. Um, then they had a 930 Turbo 76 and 911 Carrera 85, 911 Cabriolet 85, Targa 85, Carrera 73, 69 911. They got a lot of Porsches. A number eight Porsche 911, the 73 model. Number uh, oh, that's number eight and nine in the in the series. 67 911. Oh, that'd be cool. 74. I want that one. That's the next one. The testers has that one. The 74 911 Carrera. I see that kit looks cool. I want that one. Special body. I don't, I don't have a clue what that is. BMW M635 Alfina. I think B7 Turbo. Here's your race car BMW A Sch Schnitzer. Schnitzer 635. Heritage H6S Dino 240. What the heck is a Dino? 246 GT. Is that a, a Ferrari or something? Um, 246 GT early and latter Dinos. Dinos, Dinos, Dinos. It's probably like Dino. 246 DTS, Countach 5000 Quattro Valve, 
Countach LP 5000 WW Countach yeah it doesn't look like it had the fender flares Countach LP 400 I think I've got that kit no I've got the LP 500 I've got this one in, in uh, testers but it's, it's a uh, it's Fujimi yeah and last but not least the Ferrari 288 GTO okay bored you long enough guys thanks for watching this video let me kill the zoom here this is going to be a fun fun build very cool don't know what color i might go with it's interesting they've got a blue car on the uh on the box art then they've got a white car for the uh for the actual build and the white looks phenomenal look at that man that's so cool what a great car there's that structural looking stuff that i was saying while ago so that is for the rear so thank you guys for watching this video i'm not going to open this old this kit this kit is from if i have a date possibly uh, made japan i don't know if we have a date on this one and that's okay this is a newer kit i say it's a newer kit i was definitely taken off guard the other day with my ferrari gto oh by the way so soon coming box opening for the Ferrari 250 GTO by Gunsey and this is the one that has a lot of metal parts in it so be stay tuned in to see this unboxing that will be very soon but um, that is an 87 model kit and I, I would have thought it was made yesterday this one is seems to be fairly new uh, this kit again 1987 and cannot wait to build it thank you George for sending this to me thank you guys for watching this video if you have not already subscribed Hit that subscription button. I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Like this video if you liked it. Tell me if you've built this kit. How did it build up? Because it is very, very, very detailed. Was it worth it? Should I even attempt it? Yeah, sure. Should, should I just glue the door shut and the hood shut and make it a curbside? Or is it really a quality kit? Um, I've only built the one Fujimi. As far as I know, yeah, one Fujimi, which is the tester's Porsche. And uh, I said Porsche, by the way. It's Porsche, Porsche, whatever, tomato, tomato. Um, and they, it built up nice, although it was so heavily detailed in the engine compartment that it gave me a lot of trouble. I don't think this one would be that way. A lot more open area to work with. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Again, let me know if you built this. Let me know uh, how it went together. But thank you for watching this video. And hey, we will see you on the next one. But don't forget first to go by Hobby Nut Models. Check out Mark's inventory on paints, on kits, on supply, any supply you need to build a model kit, plus the model kits. Go check out HobbyNutModels.com. Linked in the description below. Facebook group, Model Car Videos Facebook group. Go join. Go join us. Having a great time over there. Patreon, thank you guys for your support. I really and truly appreciate all you do. And if you want yourself a Model Car Videos t-shirt, coffee mug, sticker, or anything like that, go check out my spring store. All those things are linked in the description below, as well as my second channel, Life's the Adventure, where I go and document things and just have a good time and try to make an adventure of my life. Um, go check out my second channel, Life's the Adventure, as well as my daughter, Ruthie's channel. And I got a long list in the description. You just check it out. Ruthie's channel, my mom's channel, all kind of stuff, guys. Chris Callen, Auto Art, all these things are listed in the description below. But you guys, I appreciate you because you got me where I'm at. So thanks a lot, and we will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.